Hey, Sean here from SpeedQBView.com. I made a video going over all of the OLL and PLLs for for look last layer. After that, there's still quite a few other algorithms to learn. For PLL, the gperm seems to be the scariest, and I've met a lot of people who avoid learning them altogether, or who have at least saved them for last to learn out of fear that they are the hardest. Hopefully I can end that fear today. This video is for people who are learning PLLs but have not quite learned the gperm yet, or who already have learned them and might want to find a different way of doing them. So there are four different gperms. Looking at what pieces move, it looks a bit confusing with gperm version A and B on the left, and C and D on the right. You can recognize them on the cube more easily because they have headlights on one side and a two-piece bar on either the side or directly behind the headlights. There is basically only one algorithm to solve every case. Even though there are four different gperm algorithms, you can basically solve it with only one algorithm for every case. Let's start when you have a two-piece bar behind the headlights. You point the headlights to the side with a double bar closer to you. The algorithm is in two parts. First, R U R prime. Then you turn it to the side the headlights were on a second ago, which the notation would be Y prime. Then the last part starts with an R2 and a small U move, which moves the top two faces. You do R U prime, R prime, U, R prime, small u, r2. Now instead of memorizing the algorithm, I just repeated it until it was in my fingers. r u r prime with my right hand, turn to where the headlights were, then flip with my right hand, top two faces towards my right hand, r u prime, r prime, u, r prime, then top two faces away from my right hand and r2. That is known as the D version. Let's look at the B version, which is the exact same thing, just with the left hand. We point the headlights to the right and see the double bars close to us on the opposite side of the headlights. Then instead of r u r prime, we just do with the left hand, L prime U prime L. Turn to the side that had the headlights, then L2 small u, L prime U, L U prime L, small u prime L2. Many people avoid doing a mirrored version of the algorithm because they say their left hand is slower. I feel that it's much easier to learn and after some time you'll get equally as proficient with both hands. So basically that is the exact same algorithm just mirrored. Let's move on to the A and C version. This has the headlights and then the double bar on the side, not behind it. Let's start how we did before with the headlights to the left and the double bar in front of you. For these two versions, the double bar will always be in front. You pretty much do the exact opposite, where you start with R2 and a small u move, with R2 small u, then R prime u, R prime u prime R, followed by small u prime R2. Then again, you turn to where the headlights were and do R prime U R. It is literally the reverse of the first algorithm we did. You can guess the final one, which is just the reverse of the left hand version. For the C version, you put the headlights to the right and have the pair in front of you with L2 small U prime, L U prime L U L prime, and then small U L2. Turn to where the headlights were originally and do L, U prime, L prime. So all four G perms are just one algorithm, and honestly, being able to knock out four PLLs with one alg seems to be something you would want to do first. Now, the best thing to do is to get these into your muscle memory. What is great for practice is if you do a G A perm from a solved cube, you end up with a G B perm needed to get back to the start. If you do a GC, you end up with a GD, and vice versa. What I would do is practice doing a GA, then GB, then GC, and GD, and just keep cycling through them. I hope this helps some people. There are a lot of different algorithms out there, and even the ones that I use for GB and GC are not even in the speed solving wiki database. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.